The following program is produced by Marshfield Community Television. Okay, so today we are celebrating lots of birthdays. Our, one of our videographers, Brett, is actually having a birthday. So an early happy birthday, Brett. We're gonna make one of his favorite desserts. Um, we just celebrated Matthew's 33rd birthday on October 10th mm -hmm. without him. Right, he was on the other side of the world again, over in Eastern Europe. He was in, actually he was in Montenegro which is close to Croatia. They've been up and down the different countries in Eastern Europe. This is on their second bout. Second round of round travels, of, right. of traveling, so. Anyway, so we'll we, we actually enjoyed celebrating his birthday with our friend Melissa Delizer, who was visiting from Portland for a few days. She just went home today. So we celebrated with a birthday cake in um, honor of Matthew with, mm -hmm. with Melissa and then our friends Julie and Jack. So we had a good time. So did. I hope Matthew and Alana had a good time. I know Alana said, posted that she was uh, the best she could do for a cake, I think was a pizza pie. It was a pizza pie. So that yep. was his that birthday. Was the best, best so. I could find. They don't do a lot of cakes apparently over right. there. So. And, we, and the cake we made for Matthew, we posted it on, on our website and it was, uh, we didn't have enough candles for 33. But what we did instead was we searched through our candle drawer and we found a couple, the, the digits, and we found a four and a two. And well, he's not 42 and he's not 24, but 42 was one of his favorite jersey numbers he, he used in his, uh, his sports in high school. In junior and it high just high dawned on me just this second as you're talking yeah. that 33 was his basketball number. Actually, it was his basketball number, so that 33, was, ironically. That was cool. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's get anyway, back to this again. So one of the recipes we're making, it's called chocolate no-bake cookies, and that's one of Brett's favorite recipes. It was a recipe my mother made all the time, mm -hmm. and it's in her cookbook, Ethel's um, mm -hmm. Kitchen, mm -hmm. from her cookbook. So it's very easy to make. All right. I'm and this, watch. And this was a recipe that we used to make at Christmas time. It's one right. of those recipes where you should make it all year round. Right. But there's just certain things you do, you know, for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So we we are going to start with two cups of sugar. Put it in a kind of a medium size pan pot. A quarter cup of cocoa. And it can really just be. Kind of knock that out. Yeah. There you go. Again, it can really be any uh, brand of cocoa. Right. Just stir that in a little bit before you add in your milk. And how much milk was that? So that's a half a cup of milk and one stick of butter. And then we're gonna be heading over. Kind of room temperature, it looks like. Kind of soften um, it's a little bit. Been out for just a little okay. bit. I mean, you Not can. Not room temperature, but it's, you let it sit out for a little while. Yeah, soften you can it. put it in right from the. Okay the refrigerator if you you know want to yeah. because it's going to be cooking and melting on the stove oh, anyway. Okay. okay, this doesn't get blended with the mixer there. <clears throat> nope, so we're just going to stir this in again a little bit and then we're going to take it over to the stove. And once you have it on the stove, we're going to have it on the burner uh, about medium heat. Okay, and is that my job? That's going to be your that? job, okay. yep. And I know um, I had the apron on for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so we got that kind of stirred up. Okay. So it's going to go over to the stove now. All right, about medium? Yes, on medium heat. Put it on the back here. And I am going to, just to help make the butter melt faster, I just take the spoon and chop it up into smaller pieces. Kind of get it, kind of get it spread out. And sometimes you even turn that, that burner on high, but you don't need it on high, but you can have it get, to get it started a little bit higher. Like. October is is kind of a, a busy month with lots of birthdays. My mother's birthday is actually coming up October 25th, mm -hmm. and, um, and you just had a new niece born, new grand niece born, born yesterday. So yesterday. that's in October, and your other another grand nephew was born in October. Towards the end of October, I believe. So yeah, so it's and there's a good another month. and there's another Brett. That was born in October too. The same well, as our son Matthew. Of There's not our famous or is it infamous videographer Brett here. His birthday well, is October. Brett but Butler, not Brett here. No, not Brett. 
example. Funny. Huh? I meant here. But <laughs> Brett Favre is, yes. is born in October. In fact, he's got, he has the same birthday as our son Matthew, October 10th. So it's a good month. It's a good month. Yeah. But then a better month is <clears throat> November. So we talked to Matthew on his, well, actually it wasn't on his birthday. It was a couple days after his birthday. And they did another house-sitting job in Turkey. What They went back to the, the same kind of area where these expatriates from Britain are, are living. And one of the women there was um, going, she and her husband were going on vacation. And they had a, a chance to do a lot of cat-sitting this time. She has either spayed or neutered about 40 cats around town mm -hmm. in, in that area. So they don't have, you know, nearly as many wild, you know, or animals running wild. Oh, so we have a, a nice royal, ro rolling boil here. So we're just going to turn it down a little bit because it's going to, you know, continue yeah, you don't burn boiling either. like that. Yeah, you want to make sure that you don't keep overdo it. Right. And, and keep stirring because you don't want it to stick to the bottom and burn. Right. Okay. <clears throat> in fact, the other day when I made some, I think it had started boiling before I, I realized it, and um, it so it, it helped, yeah, but it helped to thicken a little bit more, so. Okay. Okay. We're going to call it good. Good. No. Okay. Now you put peanut butter in. <clears throat> so, yep, we're going okay. to add, you can just leave that in there. Okay. And we're going to add a half a cup of peanut butter. But I don't begin stirring right away? Uh, you don't have to uh, right away. Um, we're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. So if you want to just put in what you think is this about is, two teaspoons. This is how you teaspoons. do teaspoons. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. Sometimes Gary puts in a little bit more than what he needs, but I think that was, was a pretty good measure. Vanilla is one of those on things that, that one. if some is good, more is better. The I recipe, really I'm much. sorry, the recipe on this one actually, one of them, I, I was just looking up different recipes of the same one. Okay, yeah. you can stir that. Okay. And it, it called for two tablespoons of vanilla. Oh. But really, two teaspoons is plenty. Yeah. So then as you stir that in a little bit, then we're going to add the oatmeal right away. So we have two and a half cups of oatmeal. Oh, oh, I didn't have all the peanut butter done yet. That's okay. You sure? I am sure. And then uh, the recipe called for about, a, sure? about a half a cup why, why of, do I even of, question you? of walnuts, but I like it to be a little bit more nutty because like I'm that, used like, to that. like people nutty. around here. Mm -hmm. You get used to it. So, 38 years worth of nutty. So we're going to do one half to three quarters of a cup of walnuts. Okay. And now you told me that you remembered these chocolate no bakes that your mother made that had coconut in yeah. them. Yeah, because I thought little, I saw little spears of coconut, I thought, sticking out of the, uh, from the edges. And that could be, because you can actually add uh, coconut or dates. I don't know why I'd yeah. want dates. Not that, dates, no. Excuse me. Not a date. Wouldn't be Not what I would person. want. Um, now what? Or other kinds of nuts, too. I mean, if you really wanted peanuts, you could even have some peanuts. Okay. okay so now what we're going to do is take, you like the larger mm -hmm. knife. So we're just going to take about a tablespoon and just put it on your pan. And what I found when I made my last pan, or my last batch of these, they uh, had spread out a little bit more than I wanted. So then as they're cooling down, you can just kind of reform them and, Do them before and that across. works too. Yeah, however many you want, okay. two or three or four. And you can make these as large or as small. And as I said, as they start firming up, you can Firm them a little Ooh. bit more if you want them up a little bit nice, higher. Nice size one there. That one's going to be for Brett. Actually, we should have had the birthday boy out here to uh, to help make these. Well, that's you know that's up to him if he wants to become a Proceed. star here. He is working, so yeah. I suppose he's probably doing his job behind yes. the scenes. Yeah, he's on the clock. You don't want to be pulling him away. That's true. You don't want to be pulling away and have fun like we are. What I do um, to, to let them set up faster, I put them in the refrigerator. If it was in the mm -hmm. winter time and you had a, you know, your porch or something, you could put them out in the porch mm -hmm. and they would cool off much faster. I like Especially to in Wisconsin. Right. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep them in the refrigerator um, to stay fresher. You can freeze them, mm -hmm. um, so that works out well. If you do have somebody with a nut allergy, just omit um, 
the uh, walnuts or nuts, peanuts, whatever you want, you want and they, right. they turn out just fine. Yeah. So um, I think I need the birthday boy Brett now to, to come out here and join us. To join and to taste? Should Maybe. We, should he Maybe. taste the fresh warm ones or do you want to do some that are chilled already? Well, we'll have to see. Okay. You didn't know you were going to be on, did you? No. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so happy birthday, Brett. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Those obviously are the chilled ones. Open so, up, yeah. and Open those up are your present. those are obviously to go. Ooh, so yeah. that's how they look when they're all set. So you can give them as a nice little present to your favorite video. Well, I'm sorry, one of my favorite videographers. One of the two favorite videographers. <laughs> Ooh, boy, you got yourself oh, in I, trouble I really almost got on that one. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm, good my catch favorite though. Male. Good there catch. Go. Good <laughs> catch. Yes. Yeah, so they make, you know, a nice Christmas gift or holiday gift or birthday gift, you know, whatever. So yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Are they as good as you remember? Mm -hmm. Have you ever made these on your own? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Okay, well. That's, Brett is so polite. Go. He never talks with food in his mouth. <laughs> I like it. I like myself. it. I always so, do that. Anyway. Yeah. Good job. So, well, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. And <laughs> you're happy welcome. birthday. Happy birthday. And I hope that um, you have a fun time celebrating and enjoy your cookies. Save some, you know, don't eat them all in one day. Okay. Yeah, maybe two days. Share them expect. with your, your niece, you have nieces? Yes, I do. Yeah, there share you them know. with your nieces. Yeah, I will. You yeah. could give them one. Good. <laughs> okay, so from uh, Slice of Heaven and Cooking with Ruth, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And happy birthday again to Brett. So until next time, happy cooking. Because I'm not putting coconut in. Oh, okay. Because Gary claims that his mother made them with coconut. I'm not sure about that. I think she always did because they were they were kind of like the, the they stacked up nicely and they always had little like stringy things hanging out and I assumed it was coconut. Yeah, that's probably you know? just another bad recipe she made. <laughs> <laughs> My mother knows how to bake. She doesn't have, she doesn't have a cookbook. She she knew how to bake. <laughs> what? Here's the recipe. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Get me all fixed You're up. You're always there. a laugh a minute, you know. <laughs>